This wheel contains every country in the world. I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel, and whatever country appears, I have to try and draw the flag of that country completely from memory. So, what have we got? What's the first country? It is Latvia. Okay, that's quite an easy one. So, we are starting in Microsoft Paint, and I cannot really get this wrong. Well, I mean, I could get it wrong. I've thought that before, to be honest. Let's hope this is not one of those occasions, though. Basically, I'm pretty sure that that is the Latvian flag. Okay, Opera, please reveal the actual Latvian flag flag. Yeah, there we go. You could argue that I made the white bit a little bit too thin, but it's close enough that it's still a correct answer. Okay, now we remove Latvia and we spin again. What is it going to be this time? There are 194 different countries. Obviously, some of those are really obscure. Some of those flags are really obvious. What have we got? Tuvalu. Okay. Tuvalu's come to mind. I think I'm going to be okay. We do blue to begin with, and then I need a Union Jack. Oh, goodness. What would be the best way to draw a Union Jack? With the blue like this? This? Yeah. And then I fill that in. And then what does the Union flag look like again? Is it red in the middle or is it white in the middle? It's red in the middle, yeah? So in that case, I'll do the white first. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, this is going to work. It's going to be great. Just don't doubt it. Have faith in me, please, everybody. All right, color that in, color that in, color. Oh, no, no, no. And now the red bits. Oh, God, why is it blue? Here we go. Oh, yeah, this is looking fantastic. It's a bit off-center here and there, but you see what I'm trying to achieve. And then I think all that's left are some yellow yellow stars like this, and they're kind of in a diagonal. I don't know exactly how many yellow stars there are. If I could get it exactly right, that would be just fantastic. I'm gonna go with that. So that's six yellow stars with a blue background and a Union Jack. All right, Opera Browser, please reveal the correct answer. Oh, it's close, but I need more stars. I needed three more, and they need to be laid out differently, but considering that's quite an obscure flag, I think I did quite well there. Let's give ourselves three quarters of a point on that one. All right, third flag. This is going quite well so far. What are we going to have this time, though? I do not know. And the next country is... Go on. It's Guinea. Oh, okay. All right. I would be thrilled if I managed to get this right. I know that it is a tricolor flag with red, yellow, and green, but I don't know the order of those three colors. And I know that Mali has a basically identical flag as well. Let's try green on this side, and then yellow in the middle, and then I'll do red on the end. Oh, is that going to be Mali, or is that going to beginning. Let's just go with it. Obviously, it's a little bit uneven, but I'm drawing in Microsoft Paint. All right, Opera, what's the correct answer? Uh, yes, we got it. Oh, I'm buzzing with that. That's a tricky one. That's a full point. Go on. Don't mind if I do. All right, we're now spinning again, and if this is a difficult one, I'm going to use my little special AI power-up, which I've been so far saving. So what is it? Let's see. Nigeria. Nah, I don't need a power-up for that. Nigeria is really quite simple. It's just two green on either side with white in the middle, and I think I think the green, yeah. I think the side greens are a little bit narrower than the middle white. So that's what I'm going to submit. Let's take a look. Were we correct? Absolutely, we were correct. It does look like the three ships are the same size, though. Which, fortunately, I've ended up doing anyway. So that's a full point again. And now we are spinning again. What is it going to be this time? I like watching it spin. I mean, actually, it looks quite ugly because there are just way too many countries in this wheel. But anyway, what is it? San Marino. Oh, okay. Right, this is quite tricky. So I know that it is a blue and white background. I think, is it blue on the top or is it white on the top? I'll try blue on the top and see how that looks. Nah, nah, nah. Let's do white on the top. I think that's more like it. Yeah. And then basically in the middle, there's some kind of like quite detailed coat of arms. I don't actually know what it is. Right, we need to enhance for this one. I don't think I've ever enhanced in a Drawing Flags video. That's how serious this is about to get. But I am pretty sure that there is like a nice kind of <laughs> banner thing. Get that filled in. There you go. And then I think it actually says... San Marino on the banner. So let's just quickly try and write that. Yep, this is looking fantastic. <laughs> Looks like I didn't take up enough space, so let's just put some exclamation points. There you go. And then what is it? A gold crown or something, maybe? I don't know what this is. I have no idea what I'm drawing. Yeah, great crown, Jack. We'll get it coloured in anyway. And then maybe just some more cool wiggles. Yeah, nice wiggles, Jack. This is looking great. I'm not sure I'm getting full points on this one. <laughs> Is there some, like, grass in it? Some leaves, maybe? Yeah, there could be some leaves. We'll add some leaves here and there, just around the outside. Fill in the leaves, Jack. Get those leaves coloured in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the good stuff. Very nice. Right, that's what I'm submitting. It doesn't look great, but remember, it is a Microsoft Paint version. So, Opera, let's reveal the actual flag. Here we go. 
Oh, okay. So the blue and the white are correct. It does have a crown. It has a white banner, but it says Libertas as opposed to San Marino. So let's take that away. But it does have the foliage too. What I have completely missed out on is the little landscape with the castle. So I actually am quite proud of that. But yeah, let's give ourselves half a point. Okay, time to spin again. So far, we're doing quite well. I'm actually pleased with that San Marino, you know. I know I didn't get it exactly right, but I think we did okay. Next is Central African Republic. Oh, okay. So I can visualize kind of the position of things, but the Central African Republic flag has a lot of different colors. And I would not be able to name those colors, nor would I be able to say what position those colors go in. So that's why I'm going to use my little AI assistant area that's built into the Opera browser. And I'm going to say, please describe the Central African Republic flag. I get to use this lifeline once in this video. Ah, oh, here we go. Four horizontal stripes and one vertical stripe. The colors used are blue, white, green, and yellow. These stripes are overlapped by a central red vertical stripe. I would not have been able to say what color that stripe was. And then in the upper left corner of the flag is a yellow five-pointed star. Perfect. Okay, blue, white, green, and yellow. Is that just the order from top to bottom? Let's ask for more detail, see if it'll answer that. Oh, are you just telling me what each of the colors represents? This is fantastic. All right, I'm going to assume the order's based on what was mentioned, which means I need blue at the top. There you go. Followed by white, which is already done. Then I need green. Looking good. And uh, then yellow at the bottom. Right, then we need a red vertical stripe. Rephrase. All right, go on then. Vertical stripe that is red. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Oh my god, it's really come together now. I just recognize this now. And then I remember that it is just the yellow star at the top. All right, Opera, please reveal the flag. Perfect, yes. That's a full point if I've ever seen one. So as you've just seen, Aria the AI Assistant is really fun and useful to mess with. And it is built right into the Opera browser, which you can download for free. But Jack, I already have all of my bookmarks and passwords saved to a different browser. I don't care, mate. Once you've installed Opera, the first thing that pops up is would you like to import your bookmarks and passwords. And a few seconds later, all your bookmarks and passwords have moved over. I've talked about Opera quite a few times at this point. Stuff like the built-in music player, the cool backgrounds, and the smart tabs that you can reveal and hide. But I want to know, those of you that have already downloaded Opera with my link, what's your favorite feature? What have you found really useful? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down in the comments in the description, you will find a link to download Opera for free and support me in the process. Thank you so much. Well, we nailed that one, but my power-up is now gone, so we are spinning again and it is all on my brain. Here we go. What have we got? The next country I'm drawing is Turkey. All right, quick undo. There you go. Turkey flag. That's an easy one, right? I'm sat here doubting myself, but it's just red with a white moon and a star in the middle. I can do that. So I'll do my star first of all. There you go. Put it about there. And then these moons are always quite tricky to draw, but I'll give it my best shot. Oh, not like that. <laughs> Try again. There we go. And then same again. Yeah, I mean, it's not kind of, it's always just never comes out quite right, does it? But it'll do. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah, there you go. All right, Opera, reveal the turkey flag. <laughs> I don't think I deserve a full point there. That moon is terrible. That needs to be so much more curved. That is a pathetic little moon. It looks more like a little crisp or something. And the stars at the wrong angle as well. Give me half a point. That was an easy one. I definitely should have done that better. The next country on the list is... Go on, go on, go on, go on. It's... Go on, here we go. It's Sudan. Oh, okay. The wheel takes way too long to spin, by the way. Sudan's tricky. I wish I'd used the Aria lifeline on this one. It's the stripes with then a thing on the side. I think the thing on the side it's blue and it maybe has a yellow star in it, but I might be getting mixed up with South Sudan. All right, let's do a black background. Oh God, I'm going to screw this up. I think it's red on the top. Oh, it could be red on the bottom though. Oh God. And then white in the middle. Does that look right? I've created Yemen there. Let me try black on the top and red on the bottom and see if, yeah, maybe that's Yemen. <laughs> Let me add the triangle in and maybe that'll help me out. I'm going to go blue. Oh, I don't think this is right. I think I might have the colors wrong or something. Let's do that. Yeah, there you go. That's not right, is it? Why is that not right? I don't know what to do instead. Is it green? Maybe it is. No, I don't think it's green. <laughs> Red up the top and black on the bottom. Uh, I don't think that's right, but I'm going to just submit that. It kind of, yeah, why not? Wait, should I add the star? Let's add the yellow star. I don't know if this is correct either. Fill it in, fill it in. Well, we've created a flag. All right, Sudan flag, reveal yourself. Ah, uh, it was green. Uh, I actually got the background
historical is correct as well. For reference, this is what the South Sudan flag looks like, so you can see what has happened there. <laughs> I think we should be quite strict. I think it would be offensive to South Sudan to give myself a point there. So let's give me no points for that one. All right, what's gonna be next? Here we go. I like doing this when I spit it for some reason. I don't know why. Go on, what is it? Come on, here we go, here we go. And it is... Guyana. Okay, that's quite a fun one to do. So Guyana, I know, has a green background, right? And then it's some cool dramatic shapes. How do I draw this? It's yellow and red. Is it that way? Or is it the other way? I'm gonna try it that way. Hang on, hang on. Go back. I need to do a more exaggerated line like that, I think. Hang on, hang on. It needs to go in the middle. Pull it together, Jack. You got this. You got this. All right, like that kind of thing. Yeah. And then I need to make this yellow. And then I think it's just red that I need kind of around the middle, like there or something. Is that right? This isn't right at all, is it? Is that right? That's not right. What the hell is that, Jack? The Guyana flag looks so cool. And that looks absolutely dreadful. What am I missing? I think there's like black outlines, maybe. Is there white involved somewhere? I don't know. We could try throwing some white in the mix. Why not? All right, put that there. Do you know what? I'm going to try. It's not purple. It's just a placeholder. I'm going to try the yellow bit being red. And then this bit being yellow. I think that looks better. This is not right. Is there even green in it? I'm so confused by this one. I think there's black lines, though. So maybe if I just add some black lines, everything thing will magically come together and I won't be as sad anymore. Yeah, it's definitely not magically coming together, I will be honest. <laughs> I can't think of anything better to do. The green's throwing it off. We're just gonna have to submit it. I don't think we're getting any points here. Right, yeah, did not go great, that did it. So there is a black border, but there's also a white border, so that's what threw that off. The triangle's facing the complete wrong way. The green and red are on the correct side, but they should be inverted. So really, I did not nail that at all. <laughs> but it's good that we can at least see where my brain was going. It's difficult from memory. It's weird how you can recognize recognize a flag instantly, but drawing one completely from inside your brain is very tricky. That's no points, by the way, just in case it wasn't obvious. We are spinning again. I don't know why, but I feel the need to just talk until it stops spinning. That's why I get weird each time. Right, what have we got? The next one is Croatia. Okay. Oh, I was about to draw Czechia then. That was a close one. Croatia? What's the Croatian flag look like? It's really, really difficult. Oh no, it's just popped into my head. There is a lot of detail in this one. There's a central emblem and the emblem's got like white and red squares on it. But what do I put in the background? I think I'm gonna really screw this up. I'm after a big rectangle, please. I'm gonna try a blue, white, and red tricolor. I don't think that's correct at all. It looks European though, doesn't it? We need to do the emblem now. Oh god, how do I do this? I don't know. It's like, um... <laughs> oh god, what does this look like? Let's do a round shape. I know that this is not quite right. I'm really screwing this up. I'm really sorry, Croatia. I've never drawn the Croatian flag before. I'm gonna get this so wrong. I don't even want to look at the correct answer. That being said, I'm looking forward to filling in these squares because that's gonna look quite satisfying. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is what we're talking about. Look at that. If I got that wrong somewhere. No, I was missing these bits. There you go. It looks better. No, it doesn't. <laughs> The thick lines have ruined the crisscross that I was going for. So I can remember the way that I learned this flag originally, like back two years ago, was Croatia has no crows. That was the mnemonic I said in my head. And that is because there's different animals up here <laughs> and none of them are crows. So I don't know what any of them are. So instead, I'm just going to draw four different squiggles and pretend that they're different things. I have got this so wrong. Let's shove some blue into this. Yeah, get some blue in there. Why not? That actually kind of works. Maybe the background should be red. I don't know. I'm going to submit that. Go crazy. Blue there. Why not? No, that's definitely not right. <laughs> All right, Croatia. Put me out of my misery. Let's see it. Ah, oh, there is blue. The blue's at the bottom. Oh, as soon as I do that, it looks way better. Okay, and there is blue at the top. And they are animals as well. You can see what I was attempting. <laughs> I don't deserve no points there. I think I deserve half a point. Let's give me half a point. Right, get rid of this monstrosity. Oh, God. Look at them go. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I am spinning again. Still 189 different countries. What are we going to have? Uh, the next country is Chad. Nice. I can do that. In theory, I could get the order wrong, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it is blue, then yellow, and then red. But let's be honest, it definitely could be yellow, then... Ooh, that doesn't look right. Maybe the red will save the day. Yeah, that's right. You know what? Because it's Chad rather than Romania, we're going to do a slightly darker blue. Look at that. All right, reveal it to me. Ah, mwah, beautiful. That blue... 
spot on. I deserve 10 points just for that shade of blue alone. But I will resist. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's keep spinning these wheels. What are we going to have next? The next flag that we are drawing is... Uh, oh, check here. Speak of the devil. All right, check here. I should be okay with, maybe? I know what the shape is. It's a kind of a diagonal, isn't it? Like this. Yeah, that's what we're after. But it's just working out the colors. I think it's white at the top and then blue at the bottom and then red over here. Is that right? Wait, I need a lighter blue. That's not right. All right, placeholder purple. And then I'm switching this to blue and this to red. Yes, there it is. That's the familiar Czechia flag that I know and love, I think, possibly. Czechia flag, reveal yourself. Perfect. Very nice. Got a bit wiggly down there, but we'll just ignore that. I'm spinning again. We are doing good today. We don't have a bad score at all. I'm holding my head up high. The next flag that I am drawing entirely from memory is... Oh, Iraq. Oh, right. We should be okay. I might get it mixed up with Iran is the trouble, but we'll hope for the best. So the Iraqi flag, I think is red at the top and then I think it's white in the middle and then I think it's black at the bottom. Let's try that. Does that look good? Oh, hello there old friend. It's got some green symbols that I think is written in Hebrew or Arabic. I'm sorry that I don't know the answer to that. So I need to do a little defined squiggle there. Yeah, very nice. And then I think there's a different kind here. Obviously I'm just going to get these wrong, but if I can get three different symbols then we'll hopefully be okay. That looks good. Kind of looks like Squidward in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to submit that. Let's see and it's kind of more two defined symbols as opposed to three but the colors are correct this symbol here is somewhat similar but it's two instead of three should we give ourselves half a point yeah why not half a point it is spin again spin again what are we gonna have here we go cannot wait to find out the next country that i am drawing is oh hold on what is it Central African Republic. Get out of here, Central African Republic. You had your time. Now I have to do the weird talking thing where I don't stop talking until it stops spinning. And I feel like if, if I do stop talking, the world will end. What is it? It's uh, Ireland. That's an easy one. So Ivory Coast and the flag of Ireland do look very, very similar. But the difference is for Ivory Coast, you swap the orange and the green. And I always remember green being on the left first position because green is so well associated with Ireland. So this should be definitely correct. Obviously, all always ignore my little black bars. I just can't be bothered to get rid of them. All right, Ireland flag. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Right, we're doing two more flags. The spinning has already begun and the next country that I am drawing is... Oh, Suriname. Okay, I think we'll be fine. There's a big yellow star in the middle and then it's green and red stripes, I think. And there might be some white in there as well. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I think there is. I'm going to leave a little white gap just there. Hmm, that doesn't look quite right to me, but I'm hoping for the best. Maybe that does look right on reflection. We'll draw the star, and then we'll go from there. Oh, that has really brought things together. Get that centered. Okay, just want to try yellow instead of white. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it is white. Mm, I think maybe there's extra yellow. Do we have yellow here or something, maybe? I just feel like it's missing a little bit of oomph to it, you know? Something like that. We'll leave it like that. This isn't quite right, but I'm curious as to what I've got wrong. Ah, look at that. I just got the sizing wrong. The yellow lines shouldn't be there, and the white should be way thicker. And my star is just a bit too big. But okay, we were close. Now let's do half a point or something. Why not? All right, we are now doing our final flag. So let's make it a good one. Something really fantastic. Something nice and obscure. If this is easy, I am spinning again. Palau. That's way too easy. We'll do a bonus flag. I'll just quickly get this one out of the way. Look at that. Palau. Move it over a bit. Perfect. Give me a difficult one. Come on. Something challenging to end off the video. What is it? And it is Mauritania. There you go. What is the Mauritania flag? I know what the Malawi flag looks like. I know what the Mauritius flag looks like. But what's Mauritania? I think it's got the moon and the star. Yes, it does. And then it's green and red. I'm not going to get this 100% right. It's green and then quite similar to Suriname. Got these red bits here like that. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, I'm going to get more creative with how I draw my moon. If I draw a green over the top of that, yes, that is what we're talking about. What have I been messing about with those squiggly lines for? All right, and then, oh, we've created something really special. <laughs> All right, if I've gotten this mixed up with another flag, I'll be devastated because I'm proud of that. Oh, no. It's the wrong way up, Jack. I knew it just didn't look quite right, but I got so excited about my moon that everything else went out the window. All right, all the elements are there, but I just needed to do a 90 degree change. So we'll get half a point. There's my end score. We did quite good, but as always, there is room for improvement. Thank you very much for watching this slightly longer drawing flags video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Remember, please do download Opera for free to try it out and support me at the same time. Really do appreciate it. All right, I'll see you later.